Okay, a little board again here. We're going to talk about the numbering system for refrigerants. The numbers from 0 to about 50, R12 and R22 are the most common. Uh, both of these are a sort of banned now, but these are, this is a CFC, chlorinated fluorocarbon. This is a halogenated chlorofluorocarbon. Thank you very much. I actually did that right, didn't I? Okay. Uh, the R numbers in these lower numbers like this, like I said, below uh, 50, are the methane refrigerants. All of them seem to have methane in them. Does not mean they're flammable. These refrigerants are non-flammable and they're non-toxic unless they're overheated. So these were very, very common refrigerants. We had a number of refrigerants we used uh, before the uh, global warming issue started coming up. And these were two of the most common. But that's the nomenclature when we're talking R. R, of course, means refrigerant. I mean, maybe I should have said that first. But uh, R is refrigerant, and then this number here tells me it's a methane series. Okay, here we are again. The 100 series. The most common one here is R134A. The 100 series is the ethane series. Again, these are not flammable and they're not toxic. Like I said, the most common one is going to be R134A. It's a replacement for R12. It's not a drop-in. Uh, it does need to use either alkyl benzene or uh, polyol ester oil. It does not work well with the mineral oil that used to be in the R12 systems. So that's the 100 series. Okay, back again. The 200 series of refrigerants. The only one we really seem to use much of is R290 or propane. R290 is, it's actually a hydrocarbon. A lot of the other hydrocarbons are 600 numbers. I'm not sure why that is, but the most common thing you'll see will be propane. Propane is very close to a refrigerant that could be used in air conditioners. It's very close to 22. Mixes with mineral oil. It's actually a solvent mineral oil similar to R12 and R22. Uh, hydrocarbon. Biggest problem is this right here. It is flammable, extremely flammable. It's not like we can't deal with propane as a flammable refrigerant. We use it for a lot of things, but it is heavier than air and does cause problems. Uh, I know there's one refrigerant called R22A that a company is selling out there and it's very expensive. It's a replacement for R22 and it is actually propane. Yes, they say it's not and it's more efficient and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think that's a bunch of baloney. But the biggest problem with propane is if someone puts propane in an R22 system and then does not mark it, uh, service tech could get in real trouble with that. Blow himself up and blow the house up because he needs to know. So, the 200 series, mostly propane. Next one we're going to go into is going to be the 400 series of blends.